We can all learn something new. And I just learned something new in the Pokemon TCG. A loyal subscriber of mine reached out to me on Instagram and they said, hey, you gotta make sure you don't show your code cards before you open the pack because we can tell what, you know, if there's gonna be a hollow or not. Right? And I'm like, well, no, I don't, I don't show it. It's only, I normally do at the end of the end of the opening anyways, but you know, we got a white card and a green card. And then he told me, and I feel a little bit silly that I didn't know this, but you can tell from the other side of, of the card, which I did not know. So I'm going to be giving these, you know, here are code cards. Hopefully somebody can use them, but what I didn't know, and actually I'm going to show you, I've got an, a camera set up right now because we're going to do a binder review as you saw in the, in the thumbnail, but I wanted to talk about this first. If it is a white code card, it says pokemon.com slash TCGO. And if it's a green code card, it says pokemon.com slash redeem. Did you guys know this? Am I the only one in the dark here? I, I don't know if that was just me, but uh, that was revolutionary to me because I want to make sure it's exciting for me when I open up the packs as well as my viewers. Um, and that's why I tend to show it at the end of the video or at the end of the pack because I, I want to keep it interesting. But anyways, something new. And before we get into that, I'm going to mention, or before we move on to the main part of the video, I am going to be opening up some Pokemon cards as well. As you can tell in the video, you can see I have a different setup. Now this isn't a setup I'm going to be doing normally, but I would love to hear your feedback. So we are doing a binder review. This has been something people have asked for a while and I've struggled because I didn't know the best way to actually show it. So here it is. And this is my favorite binder. I actually have in total 11 binders. Um, I was talking to my wife earlier tonight and she's like, you have 11 binders, are they all full? And yeah, they're all, they're all pretty full. But this is my favorite binder. This was the first of the actual binders that I uh, bought that uh, is not just your ultra pro, you know, pages that you put into a regular D-ring binder. No, this is actually one that has built-in pages. It is a three by four, uh, so it's got obviously four across and then three down. But what I really love about this binder is I have four different sets in this. This has the four latest um, holiday sets. So we've got, obviously, as you can tell, we've got Hidden Fates, I've got Champion's Path, I've got Shining Legends, and Dragon Majesty. Because I really find those so cool. I couldn't fit Generations in this as well. I have that in a different binder, but I just love this binder for that fact that it is all the holiday sets, the four latest ones, and I'm sure they're gonna be coming out with Shining Fates soon, but I wanted to go through it with you, and I'm very proud of this binder. There are a couple holes, so again, if maybe somebody sees one that they could help me with, let me know. Um, I'm always interested in trading or, or, uh, or working out a deal. So yeah, so this is my Hidden Fates and I've got the shiny vault first because Hidden Fates is what brought me back into this hobby. This is, you know, such a cool set. And I mean, who wasn't enthralled when you heard about the $10,000 Charizard? And that was when there was the shiny Charizard, the first black label and sold for $10,000 on eBay. And that was like, oh, hey, that sounds fun. Pokemon and money, that's great. So that brought me back into the set and it's been a wild ride for the last you know, year to where we are now. So, and I actually am next month, I'm coming up on my one year anniversary on, uh, on YouTube. So wait for that. But yes, I have completed Hidden Fates. Um, you'll see holes here like this is the shiny, uh, the shiny Charizard. That is actually uh, at PSA right now. I'll probably get that back in the year of 2047. I just, that's based on their lead time. I have a feeling it'll be back by 2047. That's what I'm thinking. Then I think this one's Mewtwo. That is there as well. And then we've got, I don't know, Umbreon maybe. And uh, I'm not sure which one that is. That's maybe the Sylveon. No, there's Sylveon up there. Uh, I don't know. That's one of the Eeveelutions, I'm sure. Um, and then uh, this one is uh, Aether uh, Employee, something like that. I uh, That was actually the first shiny I pulled and I have that one graded downstairs, uh, not in my studio here. But yeah, so I've completed the Hidden Fates set. Um, I've got all the reverse hollows as well. And that was a feat. That was a tricky one to complete, but I am very happy I did it. I've also got the, the Birds trio. On that note as well, I do have three, yes, 
three Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Boxes, and I'm gonna be opening up one when we get to 2,500 subscribers. So we're only about 300 subscribers away, um, so I'm pretty excited. So if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I've got the other ones here, the Zoark, Metagross, and Rayquaza. So cool, those uh, those cards. And then we get into Shining Legends. This was my second favorite one. I haven't quite finished all the Reverse Hollows, as you can see. You know, there's a couple that I'm missing here. Um, but I, st this is an expensive set to buy now. Uh, when I first got into Pokemon earlier this year, it was fairly inexpensive because I don't think it was that terribly popular. Ekans, my boy. Um, but I have pulled all the Shining uh, Volcanions and the Shining Jirachi and Shining Mew. Actually, uh, uh, it was Stax TV that helped me out with that one. And I think Shining Volcanion, um, uh, P. Diddy T. Tube helped me out with that as well. So, and I'm missing the Full Art Entei. And oddly enough, I'm missing all four of the Rainbows. I've never pulled a Rainbow in the set, but I have yet, I have pulled Mewtwo, the Mewtube twice. Go figure. And I've pulled the Rayquaza, um, uh, Shining Rayquaza, I think three times now. So, kind of crazy. Love the promos here, the Shining Ho-Oh. Um, I remember I found, a, it was in my grocery store where I found an Elite Trainer box of Shining Legends. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll get that. And not realizing that it was like super expensive. And I mean, it probably wasn't expensive at the time, but um, what a great, uh, what a great find. Shining Celebi, the Ho-Oh, and the Shining Lugia. So those are great promos as well. Uh, and then we get into Champion's Path. I won't talk, I won't take too long on Champion's Path. I know everyone is kind of Champion's Path out, including myself. Opened up my last Elite Trainer box. Completed the, the set with the exception of this last page. Shiny Charizard, where are you? Definitely not here. I have pulled the Rainbow Charizard twice now, and then I'm missing the other three, um, the other three shiny cards. So, you know, Gardevoir, and I'm not sure who else. There's, and then I have about seven or eight of these Charizard V promos. Finally pulled one that's not badly centered, so hopefully I get a 10 on that. And then we get into Dragon's Majesty, which is the latest of my uh, ventures. Um, I opened up one of the super premium boxes, if you remember on my channel, it was a couple months ago. I pulled the Charizard, so that I have, uh, I'm going to be sending off to PSA to be graded, or mint, or I, I'm not sure, I haven't decided where I'm going to be sending my cards to be graded yet, but I've got a stack of about 20 or so that I'm going to be grading. Uh, and this was a cool set. Um, I'm, I'm glad I pulled the Charizard, that was one that I wanted to pull. Um, there's obviously the gold um, Ultra Necrozma, if I'm not mistaken, from the set, there's a gold card. Um, which I did not pull, but uh, it was still pretty cool. Pulled the Blaine's Last Stand, uh, Full Art, that was pretty neat. Um, and then in the in the box, you get the Dragonite and the Kingdra, and the Dragonite is worth a good $25 or $30 itself. So um, so yeah, that, that is my binder. Um, it's a pretty neat, uh, pretty neat binder. This is uh, Dex is the name of the brand, and I actually have several different binders that... Um, that I have bought because I wanted to try a bunch of the different brands to see which one I liked. And as of right now, Dex is the one I like the most. On that note, in the description below, I am gonna be mentioning all the different products I use. So if you are interested in buying them through Amazon, there are gonna be links that you can click on, whether it's amazon.ca or amazon.com. Uh, so uh, all the different binders that I use, as well as the, uh, the, the top loaders that I use. I don't use top loaders too often, mainly if I'm mailing cards. But then most importantly, the, the, uh, the card saver ones. These card saver ones are what you need if you're gonna be mailing off to PSA or most grading companies. They're difficult to find, uh, I find at this particular moment because of everything going on. So there is a link in the description for that as well. So I'm gonna have a full different list of uh, different things that I uh, do recommend that you buy. And again, with it being my my uh, Amazon, I do, um, it does help me out if you do uh, click through those links. Even if you're not planning to buy what I've recommended, if you're planning to buy something through Amazon anyways, if you click on that link and buy whatever you're planning to buy, it does help me out. So I appreciate that. Now I want to open up a couple Pokemon cards because I have not in this format before. So I'm curious to see how it looks on camera. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm not gonna be very good at it with the flow because I'm not used to it, but um, I thought this would be worthwhile. Just a small little three pack opening. The more Peko, I, I did not find the, um, I haven't found the, the Snorlax one or, I mean, I could probably find it, but I, um, I just wanted to try something out and Anyways, this was a good price and where, where I was buying it there. So there is a nice, cute little Morpeko. We have got the Morpeko 
promo card, and then we've got three packs. So if you saw my video the other day, there is a code card. Um, I talked about how I opened up some packs off camera, and I opened up Sun and Moon Base and pulled a Secret Rare Energy off camera. So now for the first, I guess, uh, what, maybe eight or nine months of me opening up Pokemon cards on my channel, never pulled a Secret Rare Energy. In the last month, I've pulled, uh, I pulled three. Uh, which is kind of crazy. So I don't know where off camera is, but I'm gonna go over there Maybe that's off camera just so you don't See what I'm doing here. So hopefully this looks okay Passimian, Team Skullgrunt, Poison Barb, Drowsy, Cutie Fly, Makahita, Snubble, Alolan Rattata We've got a Reverse, Caterpie, and a Decidueye. So we didn't get anything there I wanted to check one of these cards. It kind of There's one card that looked a little bit funny, but maybe I'm Maybe I'm just going crazy. I think I'm just going crazy. So, all right. So now some sword and shield. I have not pulled the gold Zamazenta or Zacian. Now, mind you, I do have, did I give that code card? I can't remember if I gave that or not. But, um, uh, I do have actually a mint graded, uh, let me see what, what I've got here. Cause I've got it right here. Yeah, this is from sword and shield. Uh, this was actually the mint Zamazenta 9 um, was from uh, DNA Pokemon. They had a Christmas uh, holiday box, and that was one of the, the, the cards that I pulled out of it, which is really cool. So, um, And I'm going to be doing something with that. I'm not going to tell you exactly what yet, but keep a close eye. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. You're going to want to be around for that. And I do want to mention as well, if you do watch me, um, thank you. If you hit the, hit the like, thank you as well. Um, but I do want to say specifically that I know that about 75% of my viewers aren't subscribed. And now I, I don't know if it's because you haven't signed up for uh, YouTube or, or whatever the case may be, but I would appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button. It does make a world of difference for me. Um, but yeah, I, I appreciate your help there. All right, let's see if we can finish on some last pack magic. Galvantula, we've got a Galarian Lanoon, Energy Switch, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Clavopus, Goldeen, Roselia. We've got a Metal Saucer and a Ninetales. We got nothing. I think I need that Ninetales. But you know what? I can't. We didn't even get a Haldo. I'm going to open up something else because we can't just finish on that. All right, guys. So we are now going to open up an Eternatus V. I have not opened up this tin before. Um, so we're going to try it out. I think that there's five packs in it. I do not have these promo cards, so let's... Add it to the collection anyways. I do have a binder specifically dedicated to promo cards. It's very empty at this point because it takes a lot of promo cards to fill up a whole, a whole, uh, there is a code card for somebody. I will get that out later. Oh, these are kind of nice. Yeah, I've never really opened up any of the tins like this before. Darkness Ablaze, Rebel Clash, Sun and Moon, and Fates Collide. Okay. All right, we will go. Darkness Ablaze gets me excited because, again, still not pulled that, still not pulled that Charizard. That Charizard VMAX still eludes me. All right, see, that's a good start. We see a Jigglypuff right at the beginning. That is great, and I already saw that it's a white code card, so there is a code for you, Fates Collide. Ooh, almost did it wrong. Okay, I don't remember what's in Fates Collide, so I guess we'll find out. Ultra Ball, Kabuto, a Jigglypuff, Snivy, Deerling, Carbink, Riolu. We've got a Reverse... Loudred and a white curum. Okay, white curum holographic. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Hope that looks good on the camera. Hope that looks good. All right, we'll put that there. Now let's get the sun and moon. Let's pull that other secret rare energy that I need, being the um, um, psychic energy. So we'll put that down there. See, I gotta remember. I'm learning, guys. I'm learning the uh, you know the rhythm. Got to figure out the rhythm. Okay. Repel, Pelipper, Pokeball, Alolan Grimer, Togedemaru, Stuffle, Marini, Dupiter, Dragonair, Reverse Hollow, and a Primarina. Okay, so we didn't get anything there. Very cool. So, we're going to get into some Rebel Clash right now. Um, yeah, so I hope everybody is doing well. There is a code card for Sun and Moon. I hope everybody is doing well. 
Um, it has been a, uh, yeah, an interesting 2020, and now we're getting to 2021, which I think we're all pretty excited for. Um, I need, at least I know I am. I'm excited for 2021. It's been an interesting year already, but um, yeah. There we go, Hone Edge. I've got some big stuff planned. I'm really excited to share. Um, we're getting closer on some of the projects, so I will let you guys know about that soon. Trevenant, Reverse Rare, and we've got a Malamar V. Okay, all right. I actually need Malamar V I because I've never seen this card in my life, so <laughs> I definitely need that one. So that is good news. I don't even know if, uh, let's see, I'm just gonna move that out of the screen there, hopefully. That looks okay. Darkness Ablaze. All right, let's get that Charizard Rebel Clash code for you. I don't know. Rebel Clash was certainly not my favorite. Uh, I would say it's my least favorite from the Sword and Shield era. Now, Champion's Path would be up there, but uh, still Rebel, Rebel Clash was nothing special for me. A.A. Ron, Rookadi, Wishy Washy. I've opened up so much Darkness of Blaze and I still have not pulled that Charizard. Tauros, rever a Reverse Ducklet, and an Ampharos. Oh man. All right, last pack magic. At least we got an Ultra Rare. I can't be too upset about that. If you guys do have any questions about my um, supplies, please let me know if there is some help that I can offer or if there's something that you're looking for, please let me know. All right, Carnivine, we got a big Umbrella, Piers. Torchic, Trapinch, Jigglypuff again, there we go. Ducklet, Carablast, Panpour, Reverse Hollow, and a Delcaddy. Well, that's it today, guys. Thanks very much. Hit a like, hit a subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Have an amazing day.